Hey guys and welcome to another video about the UPIK system. Uh, I um, have made this uh, solution here into a plugin, as you might have noticed. And in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate the, the VR um, behavior of it and address a few things uh, that I found to be an issue after getting some feedback. Um, so when we hit play on the on the project itself, uh, this is what you will get. Uh, as you can see, everything should be working pretty much uh, just out of the box uh, when you download the project and, and, and hit play. Uh, and in case you want to set this up yourself, oh, by the way, I, I modified the, the offsets a little bit. It's behaving a little bit funky. Uh, it's like they are not exactly uh, uh, where they should. When I move my hands, as you can see. Um, it's like the, the boxes, they move a little bit relative to the hands. I think it's because the, the wrist bone is not exactly where the, the, the mannequin wrist bone is, and that means it's going to be a little bit off. Um, anyway, um, the issue um, I, I realized uh, is it going to be a problem is that if you're going to use uh, this for a um, skeleton mesh that is not uh, rigged to the default UE4 mannequin, then you might have or you will have issues because of the, the way it's set up. Um, and you will have to, to make some modifications uh, to the C++ code yourself or wait for me to expose these uh, um, internal transforms for you. Uh, in any way, uh, if you're up for it uh, and you really need it, what you need to do is go to the NM node UPIK solver and uh, C++ file here and in line uh, 67, you can see we have the stuff from the NMBP. Uh, if you look at that, you can see we have uh, this setup of the rotations here. Uh, all these are, I believe, uh, rotations. Yeah. Uh, currently, I might change these actually into um, Quaternions at some point, uh, just to get rid of the, most of the singularity issues. Um, but anyway, as you can see here, we have some uh, offsets, and it should be read as a pitch, yaw, and roll. And that is what is added to the pelvis. Uh, and you can see for the clavicles here, for the right left clavicle, we don't do anything, but for the right one, we add uh, 180 degrees to the pitch. And for example, for the upper arm, we add um, 180 degrees to the yaw and 180 degrees to the, the roll and so on. And you will either have to um, expose these as uh, uh, values yourself or, as mentioned, wait for me to do it. Uh, I will be working a little bit on my game and see if I can implement it uh, there. That was uh, uh, original reason why I did this. Uh, so. Um, when I port it to my game, I will probably have some changes coming in uh, into the plugin from there as well. Anyway, um, this is what uh, you need to do in, in, in case you have this issue. And otherwise, if you haven't started out with it, make sure that you use the UE4 mannequin um, skeleton, default skeleton. Uh, so I created, in this video, I'm also going to demonstrate how you can make use of this. Um, currently, I just made a, um, um, a pre-built uh, version. As you can see, the footprint of this is tiny. I don't didn't take in the debug uh, files, uh, but you can download the zip file, the, uh, the upper body and the lower body. And you can do, just download these three files here in case you want to try and, and, and replicate things. Uh, without downloading, compiling, and do that stuff uh, yourself. You can just download them. You can see that I downloaded them already here. And I have a default uh, UEF, um, third person template loaded up here. Uh, all you need to do is, uh, once you have that created, shut it down again, and uh, go on under your project file uh, folder, where you have it, and uh, create a new folder uh, called plugins. And then you navigate to the downloads folder that you have. Uh, and you can see I already uh, unpacked it here. Uh, so go in here and pick out the UBIK solver folder. It should have these three, uh, two folders and, uh, and the U plugin uh, file. So you dump that into your plugins folder like this. 
and then you just open up your project again. Wow, amazing uh, Corona here. Uh, new plugins are available. Manage plugins. You should just make sure that you have this enabled now. And uh, you can see it reads uh, version 1.01. 1 .01. Um, so let's go into the, um, uh, the third person uh, character here and make a few modifications. You want to take out the camera boom. We don't need that. So delete that. So you just have a follow cam. And then you want to add a motion control. Call this uh, left MC. And then duplicate this, and call it right MC. And then scroll down a little bit in the details to motion source and pick uh, the right instead. Uh, that is that. So we'll switch to the viewport. You can see currently we have the, um, the character. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, the default mannequin running uh, as the mesh here. Uh, and we actually want to uh, switch them out with the, the two um, things that we uh, just uh, downloaded. So you want to import and my downloads here, and select these two and make sure to use the same skeleton and don't create new materials and uh, don't import textures. So just import all that should give you uh, this. Save there. Okay, so inside here you want to switch out the um, the skeletal mesh to be the upper body, and then it should look like this. And uh, select the head here, and then go back and add uh, the skeletal mesh, the head. And that should look like this. So now you can see the head is kind of disconnected, and to get it connected again, you want to add in a um, in the construction script, uh, set master pose component for the skeletal mesh mannequin head and let it be driven by the mesh itself. Compile and then you can see now the head is following again. So when you hit play you should see probably nothing. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter really. Um, but anyway, you want to go to the animation folder and uh, move back a few steps here. So you can see we have this default state machine. We're not going to use that for anything, so disconnect that. And we just need a, a base pose animation, uh, which I don't currently um, made available. So we're just going to create one. Uh, go to your um, SK mannequin, upper body or whatever. Um, just any of these two, um, uh, either the SK mannequin or the body, doesn't really matter. And then create a asset, create animation from the reference post. And under animations, call this um, UE4 mannequin a pose. So now you have an animation with uh, just one frame uh, running, and you can plug that into your animation graph instead here. So type in a pose this and then we add in our UBIK solver node uh, where is it uh, solver oh there it is uh, so plug that in it will create your local to component uh, conversion node and drag that to the result which will create the other uh, conversion node uh, that get rid of that uh, create the transform. This is the head. Oops. This is uh, left and right. Oops. And then the settings. this and uh, in the anim graph we create or the event graph we uh, create a begin uh, 
blueprint, uh, begin um, play, and then we call the uh, UBIK is get UBIK settings, and we set this equal to the output of this. Promote to a variable. This is uh, I also promote this one. Uh, so the calibration. Just want to rename these. And this uh, defaults. So the re uh, the idea here is that you, if we compile this, we see the defaults. If we expand this over the details, we can see the, the, this is where we feed in the uh, the default values and the calibration values, uh, the the height and uh, the distance between your upper arms, uh, meaning the shoulders, really. Um, so uh, I think that is all we need. So now you can see he's in an A pose. And if we hit VR preview, turn our motion controllers. Hello. go <laughs> nothing happens apparently <laughs> that was unexpected uh, let's see what happens if we hit the uh, simulate see? oh he's down here uh, why is it oh right I forgot to set all the transforms great awesome uh, we need to set the transforms of course um, so on the event graph from the try get pawn owner, um, we cast to a uh, the third person uh, character from here. Oopsies. And then we set the head. to be uh, the follow cam uh, follow camera uh, get world transform uh, we get the left motion controller Get world transform set to the left. And finally, we get right motion control. Uh, like this. And that should be it. Uh, let's hit play. Oops. Uh, here. Okay. Looks more correct. Hello. So, <laughs> the arms are really off for some reason. Oops. Um, let's see. This, if I press R on the keyboard, let's see. Uh, it's completely off. Ah, I, I know what that is. Um, because uh, when we created these, we parented them under the follow camera. Uh, we need to set them to parent it on, under the capture component. Like this. Um, do, do, do. Like so and now it should be working as intended. Oops. So now you can see what. Whoa. Okay. So don't touch the, the trackpad. Uh, the trigger is actually the jump, apparently. But um, yeah, it seems a little bit jittery for some reason. Anyway, it's okay. And that should, yeah, get you going. So you now have a character you can see mainly from the from the 
the shadow here. Um, actually, one thing that's funny is that I didn't set the the head to no show. Uh, so apparently, just uh, I just I was just lucky that the camera is not in, in the way of the head. But what you probably want to do is to select your head and then go up here under details and type in owner. Uh, no C, oh, uh, owner no C, this one, so that it, it don't, doesn't uh, render in case you're, you're using a different mesh of what you probably are, uh, then it won't render the, the, the head for, for you. Um, so it will still render the shadow, I believe, but not, uh, not the, the actual mesh. Uh, no, no, actually not the, the shadow went the way now. Um, Oh no, no, see. Uh, huh. That's funny. Um, I currently don't remember how I get the the head. Um, head shadow back. I know I've done this several times, but for some reason I just blank out on this. Um, something with uh, shadow. Shadow. Well, I don't know. Is it hidden shadow? It was hidden shadow. Anyway, uh, so you can see now it's uh, hello, hello, and you can grab things from behind, and uh, you have a uh, I'm fully working upper body now just to put these um, few steps. I'm sorry about the the hidden shadow. It's called hidden shadow. Um, right. So I hope this uh, will get you started and uh, I'm um, really looking forward to hear from uh, people that uh, make use of this uh, and in case you do some uh, find some uh, bugs or whatever uh, just uh, throw me a, a comment on the video or um, you can also send me a text on discord uh, I believe my um, what is my copy Username. What? Copy. Username. So on Discord, this is uh, my username. Jonas underscore Malgard uh, hashtag uh, 1272. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, that was what I have for this time. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, bye for now.